The sun is out, the flowers are blooming, the time has finally come to store away your chunky sweaters and heavy coats. It's officially springtime. I love this season for fashion because I find that it's the perfect middle ground between the heat insulating chunky layers of winter and summertime when you're trying to wear as few layers as possible. You get to actually play around with a bunch of layers without freezing your ass off and I think it makes for a very fun season for fashion. And today I'm gonna go over my top 10 list ranked in order of spring fashion essentials. Let's get straight into it. Starting off at number 10, we have hoodies. And we're talking hoodies in all shapes and sizes. We don't discriminate here. From a standard fit to an oversized fit and even graphic hoodies, all of them are getting love for spring. The reason I'm only placing them at number 10 though is that hoodies are undoubtedly a great all year round item since they come in such a wide variety of fabrics and shapes you can pretty much integrate them in any season not just spring except maybe the hottest of hot summer days but with that said I feel like spring is where they shine the most and you can really get creative with different silhouettes and designs. These three are by far my current favorites. The Cole Buxton in black with the crest logo has an impeccable fit with a lot of room in the sleeves and torso, yet a relatively cropped length. It's a surefire statement hoodie. The Uniqlo Ultra Stretch Dry Sweat Hoodie, that was a mouthful, is my new favorite from Uniqlo. I like it a lot more than their regular sweat hoodie. It has a super sleek, soft texture unlike anything I've worn before. It literally feels like you're in a cloud. And my best and latest find is the Alisa oversized hoodie from weekdays women's section. I'm so glad I saw a guy recommend this on TikTok because these are fire. Not only are they super affordable, they come in pretty much every color on the block. And the oversized fit is on point. For reference, I'm wearing a size S here. Next up, we have light colored pants. For me, spring symbolizes a state of renewal, a time where the cold and dark fade away to let the light shine bright once again. And I want that feeling to come across in the clothing I wear, which is why I think light colored pants are such an essential during spring season. Whether that's off-white carpenter pants, cream joggers, or corduroy trousers, spring is all about those light colors. And cream tones are super versatile too, so you really have the freedom of choice when it comes to styling. You could go for a full monochromatic outfit, contrast it with a complementing color and a darker shade, or use the cream tones to let a statement piece shine. The choice is all yours. Ranked at number 8, we have lightweight jackets. It's time to ditch the heavy overcoats and puffer jackets and bring in the lightweight stuff. We're talking the likes of coach jackets, trucker jackets, or as we've just seen, windbreakers. I absolutely love this drôle de monsieur coach jacket from last season. Paired with monochromatic cream tones, I think it looks on point. They unfortunately don't sell it anymore, but I'll try to find a similar one to link in the description. Trucker jackets are also a definite spring essential. Try wearing yours over a simple white tee, and if you dare to venture into wide leg trouser territory, a short jacket will look great with that. What I love about trucker jackets is that since they're such a basic piece in a good way, you can really make them your own and adapt them to your style. Up next we have sneakers of all types and colors. Now you may think, hey Tim, this is a bit of a cop out, we all wear sneakers all year round. And to that I say, you kind sir, have a point. But personally, I'm mostly in boots and more rugged shoes that can sustain harsh weather during the winter months. So spring really feels like the time when I can finally bring out the clean whites, the minimal neutrals, the lightweight runners, without fearing them getting dirty by a pile of city mud or a sudden snowstorm. So I will stand by my collection of trusted sneakers as number 7 for spring essentials. By the way, if you're looking for a nice and affordable dad shoe slash runner type sneaker, I highly recommend the New Balance 997H. I actually wore this exact outfit on my Instagram last week. I copped these New Balances recently and I'm absolutely in love with them. They're a great versatile staple shoe. Up next we have cropped pants. You know what they say, sun's out, mankles out. Well, actually I don't know who says that, but I guess I do. Even though it's not blazing hot summer yet, 
Once the temperatures start rising up, I think it's reasonable to opt for a shorter hem and let the ankles out. I'm not usually a fan of white jeans, but I really like these cropped jeans from Market, which are more of a very light grey than pure white. And I paired them with this stone brown corduroy shirt and these minimal white Oliver Cabells with the transparent sole. If you feel like cropped jeans are a little too out there for you, you can start by trying cropped trousers instead, which I feel are easier to wear. At number 5 we have light knitwear. For those days with ambiguous weather when wearing a single layer is too ambitious but a coat will have you melting like a square of chocolate on warm toast. And spring is also the perfect time to play around with statement making knitwear. You can go full out with a bolt pattern like this sweater vest from Jaded London or make a more subtle statement with a fashion forward silhouette like this cropped oversized wool sweater from Florence Black. This is currently my favorite piece of knitwear as you can see the length of the body is cropped but it's cut in a boxy fit and the sleeves are oversized which makes for a super interesting design in my opinion. They are not sponsoring me but I do have an affiliate code with them so if you buy from the brand you can simply put the code TIM at checkout. It won't give you a discount or anything but it'll help support the channel by giving me a small commission. When wearing a cropped sweater I like having a longer t-shirt underneath to emphasize that the crop is by design and intentional and not a mistake. This surely won't be a everyone's cup of tea, but to the bolder ones among you, I say wear it with confidence. Alright, now things are starting to get real specific. If I had to choose only one coat that you could wear during spring, it would definitely be the trench coat. It's highly functional as it's light and very often made in a water repellent fabric. And if like me, you just love wearing big coats all the time, the trench coat is the perfect excuse for you to keep wearing a big coat after winter has passed. This one is designed in an oversized fit so you have plenty of room to wear an additional layer underneath if needed and is from the previous spring summer collection of Uniqlo U, but they still have other colorways that have a very similar fit if not the same. I've really been enjoying incorporating more brown in my wardrobe lately and I love the color combo here with black and white. Now getting into the top 3, we have the cardigan. It's light, cozy and looks great layered on top of a simple t-shirt any day of the week. Personally, I do enjoy cardigans that have a little bit of an edge to them. I'm not super into the basic kind of preppy looking thin ones. Nothing wrong with them, they're just not really my taste. And one of my current favorites is this oversized graphic one from Jaded London. I love how it fits and the choice of colors on the graphic. My most recent addition however is this cardigan from the Uniqlo women's section. I wanted a cropped one and since women's cardigans usually size shorter, it was a perfect place to look for it. I went up to a size large though because I wanted the sleeves to be a little oversized and the body to have a boxy fit. I'll link to some of my favorite brands for interesting cardigans below. At rank number 2 of spring fashion essentials, we have the baseball cap. I feel like different accessories are more or less adapted to different seasons and in terms of hats, the baseball cap, especially in canvas, just screams spring season. It's functional, looks great in any casual outfit and let's be honest, it's an easy fix for those lazy hair days. My favorite baseball caps are from Everlane and Cause. Everlane for the more laid back, casual looks and Cause when I want a sleeker aesthetic. And rolling in at number one of spring fashion essentials, we have the juggernaut of transitional layering pieces. It's the item you grab when you don't know what to grab, the outer layer of choice when you're confused which choice to make. It's not a shirt, it's not a jacket, it's the overshirt. The versatility of the overshirt is truly unparalleled. You can wear it as an outer layer, as a mid layer, it can be worn in both casual and more dressed up outfits. It's the ultimate spring essential. You can never go wrong with a neutral color like black, but you can also go bold with it, use it as a statement piece. I feel like every brand under the sun has their own design of the overshirt, but the ones I'll be wearing most this spring is this black boxy one from Uniqlo U and this royal blue overshirt from Arkit from last season which you might have seen on my Instagram already. For a more rocker vibe you could also check out All Saints or for a very clean minimal aesthetic I would check out Cause. I would love to hear from you guys, are there any items that you consider to be spring fashion essentials that maybe I haven't mentioned? Let me know in the comments. Hope you've gotten some inspiration today for your spring wardrobe and if you enjoyed the video, 
share it with a friend who you think might enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching guys, have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one.